Well, it looks pretty nice outside right now. Sunny. Yeah, it's can't sun complain. I mean, it's, it's hard in the winter to get a lot of sun, although the last <laughs> yeah. few weeks we've been pretty generous with the sun. That's it's, true. It's, it's nice to get it back, especially yeah. on a day where a lot of people have off. And have can off, enjoy right. The sun. They want to enjoy. Yes. And, you know, President's Day has been a pretty eventful one across the area in terms of weather. We look at some of these records. That coldest temperature, uh, 22 below in 1943, was the coldest temperature ever recorded in February in Albany. And then, of course, 2003, some of you may remember, that was the President's Day blizzard, which the bigger impacts were off towards the south and east. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was still a substantial storm around Albany, 9 to 15 inches or so. But they were measuring the snow in multiple feet off towards the south and east from Washington to Boston. So that was a memorable storm. No records today, although we will be chilly. No record-breaking cold around here. Bright skies, 22 degrees in Amsterdam. And you may notice a little bit the camera in Amsterdam shaking a bit. That's with that wind that is very gusty. We take a look at the satellite. You know it's a bright day when all you could see is the snowpack. No clouds around here. And we, have, we did add over the weekend a little bit to the snowpack around. So with the bright skies and some snow on the ground, it does make it extra bright. So a day, if you do go outside, the sunglasses may be, uh, may be necessary, especially if you're driving. And also the chapstick may be necessary with bone dry air that's on the back side of this front that's ushering in some of this cooler air. So it's 29 in Albany right now. It is 31 in Saratoga, 22 North Creek, 25 Broad Albin, 21 in Middleburg, and it is 33 right now in Poughkeepsie. Again, though, winds are still a bit breezy, 10 to 15 miles an hour, so it's adding to that kind of chill in the air with gusts as high as 25 miles an hour. I do anticipate as the day goes on, we should see those winds start to pull back. So it will still be breezy, but especially by this evening, winds should really start to diminish. And with that, temperatures will drop pretty quickly. So tonight, I'm expecting low temperatures to be in the teens. Otherwise, during the afternoon, maybe we'll add a degree or two from here, but not anticipating numbers to rise too much, only getting up into maybe the low 30s today. Beyond that, it's much the same tomorrow. We are mostly sunny. Winds are calm. Temperatures a bit milder. It's mid 30s to 40 degrees. We have high pressure in place, so that's cementing us in this in these pleasant conditions. Now Wednesday, high pressure moves to our east, which means we get a warmer flow. It's sun with a few afternoon clouds around. We're even milder temperatures that day, low to even mid 40s across the area. And with a good amount of sun, should feel pretty pleasant outside. Thursday, we again stay mild, but notice this front off towards our west. As it gets closer, clouds are increasing on Thursday, and then the opportunity for some rain and snow showers. Hours. That would be our next opportunity for some precipitation around here, although I'm not, I'm really not too impressed with how strong the system's going to be. So just I think it showers Thursday night into Friday. This doesn't look like a big, intact, strong storm impacting us, but still several days away to fine tune that forecast. Until that point, we are pretty calm. It's upper 20s to low 30s, mostly sunny this afternoon and a bit breezy for your President's Day. Gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Tonight, temperatures dropping down to pretty cool levels, mid to upper teens as those winds pull back. We plummet pretty quickly tonight. Tomorrow, it is 35 to 40, so a bit warmer, but we retain a lot of sun outside. And tomorrow night, similar drill with clear skies. Temperatures drop pretty quickly, so it's upper teens to low 20s. Here's a seven-day forecast. We are bright through the first part of the week. Temperatures getting up into the low 40s. Clouds increase on Thursday, but we still... Uh, are going to be dry throughout the daylight hours. Then at night, there's that rain and snow chance. Again, not anticipating big impacts around here, but we'll still monitor that storm. Otherwise, on the backside of it, we do turn chilly Saturday into the weekend, but by next week, it looks like we're going to warm up once again. So not seeing signs, Lara, as we get into the last week of February of any sustained cold air. Listen, I'm not mad about it, Sam. Keep going. Do your thing.